Well, we certainly had some stronger thunderstorms roll through last night. Maybe those even woke you up. And even today, we're going to be dealing with additional rounds of showers and thunderstorms as we continue with what continues to be just this wet, unsettled weather pattern. We've been tracking some showers now moving through the metro area. Notice the motion with this has been from south to north that has allowed for some light showers to drift through. Now the downtown Miami area, we have some light rain, rain out towards Doral, Hialeah Gardens spreading into the Hard Rock Stadium region and up through Hollywood right now dealing with some light rain. Thankfully, not much lightning there with the shower that's now approaching southwest ranches farther south. We have seen a little bit of lightning down through the upper keys along with some heavier rain. That's for areas like Key Largo up to the Ocean Reef area. You can see a few lightning strikes there over about the past 15 minutes. We have a lot of tropical moisture on the way into our area today through tomorrow and really this work week that's going to keep the chance for some heavy downpours with us for those areas that do fall under the thunderstorms. Expect some heavy rain with this very juicy atmosphere and then our thunderstorm chance is even set to increase a little bit more as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, at least compared to what we had yesterday and today. Notice we'll hold that at about a 60% chance each and every day, at least through the remainder of the work week, last full week of September, of course. Additionally, on top of even what we had last week, which was already a pretty wet week, we could see an additional, on average, two to four inches of rain across the metro area with some locally heavier amounts possible. That takes us through Friday. Out the door, you can see it's certainly a wet looking. Uh, afternoon here across this is coconut grove some water droplets out on the camera along with some abundant cloud cover those temperatures in the upper 80s and yes we are feeling like the triple digits in spots not only is that moisture bringing us this higher chance for showers and storms but it's also bringing us the higher humidity so for the remainder of this afternoon i would suspect some additional shower activity to work its way across the metro area for about the next couple of hours we may see a general progression though inland as we see a little bit of a sea breeze kick in off the atlantic so that by about three four o'clock the bulk of the activity may actually be focused across our interior areas where we may actually see some stronger storms, especially as you get closer to the Lake Okeechobee area. Uh, that's where we could see some isolated strong to possibly even severe thunderstorms. Six o'clock, the dinner time hour. Notice the focus is still up through the Broward County area that wouldn't uh, quite rule out a few of those showers and thunderstorms building back down across the Miami Dade coast as we head into this evening. Tonight, some additional rounds of showers and thunderstorms will be possible, especially down to the Keys and into early tomorrow morning and then we essentially have the same exact pattern for tomorrow with the additional rounds of showers and thunderstorms coupled with some dry time but the name of the game this week will just have uh, to be to have that umbrella at the ready maybe just throw it in your car and pop it open when you need it we do have that level one out of five severe risk in place for inland Broward County today across the tropics we have a few things going on we're tracking tropical storm Philippe we have a tropical wave that's out to the southwest of the Cape Verde Islands along with an area that we're keeping an eye on out across the Gulf of Mexico Philippe not expected to be a threat to the United States, so it should actually be slowing down a little bit and maintaining tropical storm status, not anticipating a whole lot of strengthening with this system as we head over the next five days. Tropical wave to the southwest of Cape Verde Islands, high chance of development with this one into our next tropical depression or storm. The good news is this actually should be following a pretty similar pattern and track to Philippe. We're tracking an area of high pressure that'll first be steering it to the west northwest. There's a blocking area of high pressure slowing Philippe down. Trough of low pressure should be picking the both of them up and then steering them out towards sea. So the model support on that looking good. Of course, we'll continue to keep a close eye on it just in case things change. Uh, but right now, Florida looking like we're in good shape. A little bit closer to home in the Gulf of Mexico, we're going to be tracking this general area. It's actually thanks to an upper level area of low pressure that may spin something up. Chances for that are not very high right now that becoming a tropical depression or a storm over the next about five to seven days. But we'll continue to watch it with just that 10% chance again for development, though nothing is concerned right now to Florida. Next seven days locally featuring those higher chances for showers and storms. Highs will be in the upper 80s and lower 90s.